Hey everyone, happy May the 4th be with you! All you Star Wars fans out there, you know what May the 4th is. It is a special Star Wars celebration day. You know, May the 4th be with you. Get it? May the 4th be with you. Like, May the 4th be with you. God, I have to explain it to you if you're a Star Wars fan. We're going to make a really fun Star Wars pop-up craft today. Um, we're going to make a pop-up Mandalorian helmet card. Ooh, that's going to be fun. All right. I just love May the 4th because it gives me an opportunity to celebrate with everybody how much I love Star Wars. I am an old, 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 old Star Wars fan. See, I'm still collecting the action figure cards, or action figures. Look at that. Um, Sutton. You know, he was in uh, A New Hope for like two seconds. But, oh, uh, I gotta get that figure. Anyways, we're gonna make our very own Mandalorian, and we can we can turn it into any Mandalorian character we want. We can Boba Fett. We could do Bo-Katan. We could do, um, we could do the Mandalorian himself. Okay, so what you're gonna need first is you're gonna need four pieces of cardstock, okay? Um, and cardstock is a little heavier than regular paper. Um, it, we need the strength to make our, and you can use any color you want. See, this is cardstock. It's a little tougher than regular paper. And you can get cardstock at any kind of store, like a office store, office supply store. You can get it at, um, of course, a craft and art store, and like Michaels and stuff like that. Um, and also, you can you can probably find it in places like Target and Walmart too, because they have great craft sections. So you know you can get it all over the place, or you can order online, blah blah blah. blah. And you can use any color. We're going to need four pieces. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to go down to the link below, and you're going to click on the link, and you're going to download the templates and there's four pages of it you're going to print them out onto your cardstock just using your printer and um, then we're going to get started um, so here are the four pages that I've printed out onto my um, cardstock all right and what do we do first we look at let's look at um, the legend up here okay so there's two types of lines what we're first going to do is we're going to score all the fold lines and what are the score lines they're the fold we'll score lines we're going to score, score where the fold lines is, where those dotted black lines are. So we see where they are, see where they are. That's going to be a, a score line. And what do we do? And to make a score line is to make a fold line. It'll make it a lot easier. Um, ooh, I need something I don't have here. Oh, gosh. Uh, one of the things I have is a paper clip. But I also need a ruler. Ooh, let me go get it. All right. We are going to score all these these dotted black lines. We're gonna just use the ruler as our straight edge. I'm gonna line it up along each of those dotted black lines. And what I'm gonna do is I can use my uh, paper clip, maybe this end, and you can use a bigger paper clip. You don't have to use a little one like this. This is all I had. Um, and we're gonna just press along that straight edge. And that will make what it does is it scores it a little, and when we want to fold this area here, it'll fold really, really well. So I did that piece. Let's get that out of the way. Hmm. Let's do some more. Let's do this one. Ooh, there's a lot of scoring on this piece. So you just use your ruler, and you press a little along those lines. See how fast I can do it? And just along all those different ones. Go real fast. I love Star Wars so much. All right, so we did all of our scoring. All we we made all the fold lines. You can see. Well, you can't really see it if you look at it in the right light. But anyhow, we are going to now cut out all these pieces. Now I'm just going to use this pair of scissors and I'm going to cut them out and I'm going to follow along all the black solid lines. So just carefully follow along all those black solid lines. And take your time, you know, some, not everybody is super fast at cutting out things. You can see, look, like when I'm cutting, sometimes what I do is I actually turn the paper and I keep my scissors kind of in one position. And then sometimes what I'll do is if this is a big clumsy piece of paper, watch, just cut that off. Just makes it easier, right? And then I'll just keep cutting. But look, I kind of turn the paper and I cut. I love that, you know, because you can just kind of, and I got to cut inward there. But I love kind of, um, and then you can do this too. You could, like, let's say we don't want to cut those inside pieces. We're going to cut the outer part first. Kind of cheats, but it, sometimes it's easier this way. And then 
cut all the way around here. There we go. Get that curve. And now it's really easy to cut out this inner piece. Look at that. Now don't cut your fingers. Again, take your time. Use the right kind of scissors. Use either, you know, use, use big or small scissors, whatever fits your hands right, whatever feels the best. And also, you know, if it's left or right scissors, nothing is worse than if you're a left-handed person and you have to cut with a right-handed scissors or vice versa. So make sure you get a pair that works just right for you uh, because scissors are great tools and we want to make sure that that you have a pair that's comfy. You don't want to, you don't want to, it's kind of like wearing, when you're cutting up pop-up stuff, it's kind of like, well, I guess it would be kind of like if you were wearing the wrong size shoes or you were wearing the shoes on the wrong side of your, like wearing your left on your right and right on your left. They just wouldn't feel right, right? And that's the way it is with scissors. You want the right pair for your hands so that you can get in there and cut out all these pieces. Okay, so we cut out all these pieces. We have these two pieces here. Let's put these aside. This is gonna be our base page. And you know what, let's go ahead and assemble it. Um, let's take some glue. This is just regular craft glue. I just have it in a squirt bottle. And see this down here? It says base page tab. Well, base page tab goes right there so that we can have a big full base page. I'm just gonna fold this going upward. Because we scored it here, it'll fold really nicely. And I'm just gonna, where this gray area is, I'm gonna put some glue right in there. See how I do that? Just enough, just enough to, you know, so it doesn't over, you don't have a huge puddle of glue. And then I'm just gonna lie this tab. It fits right on top. Just press it down. And we're gonna bend it and close it. Make sure that edge is really lined up. And I'm just gonna press it and use my finger. See how I did that? So it's nice and lined up. We're just gonna get the base page. This is gonna be what we build our pop-up off of. Okay, so that's gonna be the inside. See how I glued it together? Because the card's so big, couldn't fit on regular letter-sized cardstock. All right, now let's look at these two pieces. Now what we're gonna do next is actually, we're gonna decorate these two pieces here. We're gonna draw on them first because they, we won't be able to draw on them once they are built. So you can use anything, you can, color, uh, you can use crayons, you can use colored pencils, you can use markers, um, you can use stuff like that to color it. And what we're gonna actually do is we're not gonna color, see this side with all the lines and everything? Okay, we're not gonna color on this side, we're actually gonna turn them over, okay? And what I want you to do first, because we're looking at this side, we're gonna fold this, see where this G tab is? We're gonna fold that just going down, just like that. Okay, and it's real easy because we, we did, we, we already scored it, so we're just gonna fold it. We're gonna turn them both over and see how they're mirrored of each other? Oh, and we'll turn this over too, this tab. This is tab M. M for May the 4th, woo! Okay, so we folded them both over. Now you can see, if we look at our two, their mirrors, right? This is the front and this is the back. So what this is gonna do is actually, this is gonna become the top of the helmet and it's gonna curve that way and this is gonna be the front. So we have to draw half of the Mandalorian's helmet, whichever Mandalorian we choose. We're gonna draw half of it on this side and we'll mirror it over here. So let's get to decorating. I'm gonna move really, really, really fast and we'll start decorating. You can see how I did it and then you'll know how to decorate your Mando. Okay, all right, so there we go. I, I decorated my, oops, I didn't close that. Ooh, markers, get over here. So, um, so, all right, I'll admit it. I have a lavender. Mandalorian, but you know, the reason why is uh, my gray marker pooped out. So I didn't get to make a silver or, or gray helmeted Mando, but let's just pretend he's, he's, on a, he's on a purple planet and it's reflecting off of his, his metallic 
helmet and a, his, his Beskar is looking a little lavender today. Okay, so pretend, pretend, pretend. Star Wars, okay? Um, so, all right, now let's get to assembling. These are the two sides that we've done. And you'll notice, again, I'll remind you, um, this is on the opposite side of where all the lines are on our um, templates, okay? So you can see that they are mirror images of each other and you're gonna to need to decorate both sides. All right, let's get our base page here. Remember when we did this? Okay, so let's take this piece and oh, first we need to start with these two pieces because it says A and glue A there. Usually I follow along the letters. Um, so let's glue this together. And, and so basically what you're going to do is you're going to glue this to each, each other. See, this shape here lines up with there. So let's take our glue. Again, this is just regular craft glue, um, like Elmer's glue. Or you could also use double stick tape if you wanted to just in that gray area. Or you could also use uh, a glue stick, I suppose. But I'm not a big fan of glue sticks myself unless they're really, really good ones. Because sometimes um, they, they don't stick as well. But... I might have just had bad experiences with the glue sticks I've worked with. All right, so I've just put the glue in that area. See, just like that. And we're going to actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this piece here, this, I'm going to fold it because we have a, we had a score line there. It's real easy to fold. I'm going to fold it and I'm just going to place this right on top. And you're going to see it fits perfectly. And you're going to want to make sure that, see where that fold is? that they line up and we'll fold them both. They're actually a mirror of each other. Look at that. Like, like the two pieces that we just made with the, the Mandalorian actually helmet, this is going to be the support that goes inside. So it glues to each other. And the reason why we've glued those two things together is we need a nice strong support inside. This is all going to go inside the helmet. All right, let's fold these. Let's pre-fold these because these are going to glue onto the inside. And then this little tab here, where is it? Let's make sure this is folded. Sometimes I'll fold it back and forth. So it's all folded together. I'm going to make sure it's, what I can do is I can press down on this, make sure it's nice and dry and held together. And if it's pulling up a little, see like that, just take some glue. And make sure it glues together nice and tight because we need this support in the center to be really strong. Okay, I'm just gonna pinch it up at the top here to make sure it's all glued together. Pinch, pinch, pinch. All right. All right, now we have our base page and we've, we've just glued A. Let's look for B. There's B, it says glue B here. And there is tab B. We're gonna go in the alphabetical order. We don't have Arabesh on here, which is in Star Wars. Alphabet. <laughs> I should have done. I should have done that, but um, not everybody knows Arabesh. Um, so we're going to glue this tab. Is going to glue right there. Let's pull in there so you can see. It's going to glue right there in place. So we take our glue, put it just within that spot. In fact, I'm going to I'm going to really make sure it's right in there, in that gray area. And then I'm going to put my tab right on top of it and glue this piece down. Press it down. Sometimes I got a little extra glue there. Just going to get rid of that. There we go. I'm going to glue it in place. And make sure you don't glue it so that it's like stuck down to the page. You don't want it like stuck down like this. You want to make sure that it can flip up and down. It should line up pretty well right there on the center of the page, just like that. All right, let's get to the next letter. We just did B, let's do C. And let's look on our pieces if we can find the letters. C was, oh, there's C, there's C. All right, so we are gonna glue C down and it actually goes just like this. So let's put some glue right here on that gray area, press it down just like that. Let it sit for a minute. Let's look for where we glue D. Oh, there it is right there. So it says glue D here. So let's look on this piece. 
there's D. And that's going to glue right there. So let's put some glue in that little space. Just like that, we're going to line it up, put, make sure the tab's glued down, press it, and let it dry. Okay, now we're going to glue E and F tabs. And this part we're going to do pretty quick. So I put glue here for um, E and F. So let's just glue E. See, it just it lays right on top of it. And then, watch this. This will glue right... Watch this. This tab here will lay right on top of that piece. And we can close it and sandwich it shut. Sorry if I'm shaking the whole camera here. I don't let it dry. And see, look, it's going to hold together. Like, oops, hey, glue back down, tab. I, I got too, I got too cocky there. I got too cocky. Han Solo was right. All right, now make sure it dries right. So that's where that one's gonna go. And that where that, and see how that's sandwiched together? Like that. All right, we'll look at it. We'll let it dry for a second. Then we'll check it out. All right, so that, see what that does? That makes sort of a, um, this is called a platform in here. And see how strong that is? That's in the center. And we have this side and this side. And they're all, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna glue all of these different things together. And they're gonna come together and make a more curved helmet. See how it's starting to, Come together. Ooh, look at that. Okay, let's get started with our tabs on the, uh, the exterior. And with this part, we're gonna kind of, oh, sorry, I drew accidentally on the outside because I was testing a marker, sorry. <clears throat> okay, so with this part, we're going to be gluing these tabs along in alphabetical order. And we're gonna have to kind of peek inside our pop and look at it. So let's look at this tab. That's tab G. So we did E and F, let's get to G. And here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna fold it over like that. See, it was like this. Fold it over like that. Put some glue on that tab just right there. And then we're just gonna glue it right down just like that. So that first, that one is the G tab. All right, let's go on to the next one, H. Now this tab, you wanna make sure it's folded under. Let's move in a little closer so you can see. Okay, so that's the H tab. Let's put a little glue right here. Let's make sure that that tab folds. Oopsie, that tab folds under right there. I'm going to press it. My fingers are so gluey and messy. Sorry if I made a mess. So it's okay if you make messes. That's that's all the fun, you know. And, you know, the in Star Wars, everything's all roughed up anyway. So if it looks a little rough, it doesn't matter. So there we did that tab. Make sure you don't use too much glue like I just did. If you did use too much glue, wipe it away with maybe a scrap piece of paper. All right, next, tab I. That's going to fold. See how it folds under? And it's going to glue down. I'm just going to use a little glue. Don't over glue it, Matthew. I'm just going to press it down. Press it and make sure it stays. Let's go on to the next letter, J. Just put a little glue. Don't over glue it. Don't over glue it. And make sure, see here's the tab. It's folded under and it lays just in place. And you can see that those gray spaces, those little gray areas that say glue some glue whatever tab here, they they fit the tab shape. Okay, so we just did that one. What letter was that? That was J. Okay. And make sure also that they don't glue down to this base page here. So you might want to pull them up just to every once in a while make sure that they don't glue down there. Okay, so here we go. Here's K. We're gonna put a little glue in that space. Oh there was a bubble. I wonder what kind of glue they use in 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 Star Wars. I wonder what they call it. I'm sure there's a cooler name for glue. We're gonna fold under that K tab, make sure it tapes, tapes, glues into place, or Star Wars glues into place. All right, so that piece. Okay, we're almost done with the alphabet here. L, L, this, make sure this tab, there it is, there's tab L. We're gonna line it up. I'm gonna put some glue on that little gray area. 
Again, just get the glue within the gray area. That's it. So you don't over glue it and glue this whole pop up together. And that glues just like that in place. And now, let's do this very last one. This is M. See right there with M? I'm going to fold it over and we're just going to put some glue on the back side, just like that. And we're going to glue this down like that. And I know we're doing it with this, we're kind of sneaking and looking inside, um, but, it, but this is the best way to do it so we can keep our pop-up flat. All right? So now, let's let it dry for a second and see what happens when we open it. All right, ooh, I'm really excited. What's it gonna look like? Let's see what our pop-up, whoa, look at that. We made it, we made our very own pop-up. Let's pull back a little so we can get a little, look at that. It's got the curves. Look at that, we made our own pop-up Mando helmet. Oh my gosh, I know, I know it's purple. I know it's purple, but it still looks pretty cool. Oh my gosh, look at that. You can see all the way around. And now, you know, you have your pop-up Mando helmet to celebrate May the 4th be with you. Now we can decorate all this around here. So, hmm, let's see, what would I do? Let's see here, hmm. Let's pull out some more markers and we'll draw. Hmm, we can draw some more pictures. Maybe a little Grogu right here. Oh, there it is! Our very own. What's inside? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, happy May the 4th be with me. Oh, look at that! Your presence is mandatory. <laughs> Get it? Mandalorian, mandatory. <sighs> Look, this is all I got, kids. All right, here we go. Look at that. Our very own pop-up Mandalorian helmet card. Look at that. Look at the little eggs. Oh, Grogu gets hungry. He loves those, those frog lady eggs. <laughs> so you can decorate this any way you want. You can make any Mandalorian character you want. I just chose to make uh, d uh, our normal, you know, sort of Mando uh, character, uh, Jin Jaren, but you can always, you could turn this into Boba Fett, you could turn this into um, Bo-Katan, you could turn this into any Mandalorian character you want, but it's all yours. All you gotta do is do the template, build it with me, and you can celebrate May the 4th be with you. Hey everyone, this is Matthew Reinhardt. May the 4th be with you. Enjoy Star Wars Day. Enjoy Star Wars in general. There's so much happening. I'm so excited. New books, uh, the new, the Bad Batch is coming out this year. Oh, I'm so excited. I love being a Star Wars fan. I hope you do too. And I hope you've enjoyed making some pop-ups with me. All right, everyone. I'll see you next time. Oh, be sure to hit, oh, I got to say all the stuff, right? Right? Right, Mando? You sure do. Um, right, Grogu? All right. I got to say, um, what do I have to say? The usual stuff at the end, which is be sure to hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed making this craft. And um, um, you can hit the bell down below to get notified for any future videos that come up because I'm always making new ones. And maybe I'll make some more Star Wars ones this month just because I love Star Wars so much and it's fun to make Star Wars pop. Um, I'll see you next time. This is Matthew Reinhardt. May the 4th be with you and may the Force be with you, Star Wars fans. I love you. Take care. See you next time.